the Pixel 9 Pro XL sets new records for having the brightest screen around and has the longest battery life in a Pixel, but the minor camera and processing performance leaves more to be desired, especially when it's $100 more. Something different happened last fall. For the first time in a long time, I made a Pixel phone as one of my daily drivers and it's a decision I don't regret after putting the Pixel 8 Pro through countless photo shootouts and comparisons against all the best phones around. Now that its successor is finally here, I have high expectations for the Pixel 9 Pro XL. That's because the Pixel 8 Pro stuck around for almost a year even when newer Android phones like the OnePlus 12 and Galaxy S24 Ultra tried to tempt me away from it. Google's rearranging its Pixel lineup because instead of just one flagship model, we are getting two Pro models instead. Technically speaking, the Pixel 9 Pro XL is the direct successor to the Pixel 8 Pro because of their similar sized screens whereas the Pixel 9 Pro has a much smaller display. I break down all the details about them in my Pixel 9 and Pixel 9 Pro versus Pixel 9 Pro XL comparison. Given the opportunity of the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S24 Ultra, Google's arming the Pixel 9 Pro XL with bigger upgrades like newer cameras, more helpful AI features, and a stronger, more durable design. In my Pixel 9 Pro XL review, I will see if it's a worthy update that could convince people to choose it over rival phones. I am starting to believe that phone makers are leaning on software more so than the hardware to propel their cameras and the Pixel 9 Pro XL is proof of this. That's because its triple camera system consists of a 50 megapixel main camera, 48 megapixel ultra wide and 48 megapixel telephoto with 5x optical zoom. Technically speaking, the main and telephoto cameras are identical to Pixel 8 Pro, however, the ultra wide benefits from a wider f1.7 aperture which makes it more suitable for low light. While the rear cameras are similar, for the most part, it's the selfie camera that gets the biggest upgrade. A pixel crunching 42 megapixel autofocusing front camera with a wider 103 degree field of view. I won't spill the beans on how it performs just yet, but it's undoubtedly a big upgrade if you intend on using it a lot. Meanwhile, the camera interface is just as intuitive and robust as ever before, since it's a pro model, shutter bugs like myself appreciate the pro controls that let me dial in a few of the camera settings manually. The only new changes include the Add Me feature, which leans on AR guidance to let the photographer be included in the shot along with how panoramic photos are taken. Here are some camera samples of Google Pixel 9 Pro Axel. Another reason to choose the Pixel 9 Pro Axel is because of its ability to shoot at up to 8K 30fps, whereas the previous Pixel 8 Pro caps out at 4K 60fps. On one hand, I like the extra utility of 8K recording because it gives me more playing zoom to edit videos by cropping them or adding digital pans or zooms in my video editing software, but you will need a high performance machine to handle them. While there are plenty of shooting modes and settings to adjust with video video like choosing between 24, 30 or 60 fps, it still lacks full manual controls to get me the look I really want to go after. Here are some video samples of Pixel 9 Pro Axel.
Clearly, there are improvements with the Pixel 9 Pro XL apart from its brighter display and longer battery life. Everything else about the Pixel 9 Pro XL feels like its modest upgrade at best, which is made tougher due to its $100 price increase. While the new AI features are helpful, I was hoping for bigger improvements around its camera and processing performance, given that the Pixel 9 Pro has the same exact camera arrangement as this, there isn't much the justification on picking the Pixel 9 Pro XL for photography. And compared to its direct rivals, the Galaxy S24 Ultra and iPhone 15 Pro Max, they definitely cost more but have better performance overall.